Hey, Brenda. I wanted to congratulate you on successfully cloning your beloved Schnauzer Adolf. I know it was a lot of trials and tribulations, but you finally did it. Now you get to enjoy Adolf and be happy. So give him a belly rub for me. Mwah. Former Republican Congressman George Santos is suing Jimmy Kimmel for allegedly creating 14 fake cameo requests and playing some of them, like this one, on his show. After being expelled from Congress, Santos told the media doing cameos helps him rake in more money than he would have serving in the House. I can tell you that by the end of this week, that is actually factual. I will have, I will have made more money in um, seven days than I would have made an entire year in Congress. Santos, who was expelled in December, has been charged with a number of federal fraud, identity theft, and campaign finance violations. Now he's suing Kimmel in Manhattan federal court for $750,000 over Kimmel's Will Santos Say It segment. I couldn't resist, so I sent George through Cameo a number of different uh, ridiculous requests. Like, you could tell him what you want him to say. I'll be parceling these out over the next week. I didn't say they're for me. I just wrote them and sent them to find out, will Santos say it? Okay, so... According to the lawsuit, Santos alleges Kimmel committed copyright infringement, fraudulent inducement, breach of contract, and unjust enrichment. The lawsuit also lists ABC and Walt Disney as co-defendants, saying, By creating fake user profiles and submitting fake requests, Kimmel falsely represented himself as multiple different users, seeking Santos's personalized cameo videos for personal use. Before filing the lawsuit, Kimmel reportedly denied Santos's request for $20,000 to use the videos on his show. Santos then sent Kimmel a cease and desist letter in December. Kimmel's team has not responded to the media's request for comment. As for Santos's empty seat in Congress, well, it's not going to stay empty for much longer. Democrat Tom Suozzi, who previously held the seat before taking a run at governor, is set to be sworn in on February 28th after he beat out his Republican opponent, Mozzie Pillup, in a special election.